Hi guys, welcome back to another video and finally this is the video that we have all been waiting for because you know that we built the display and you wanted a room tour, an extensive room tour and this video is going to be super long so grab some popcorn, get some time on your hands because today I am going to show you a major chunk of my collection I cannot say all, still I cannot say all because there are too many to be you know just put around in one place but this is quite a lot so let's go inside the new Porsche Safari then here we've got a couple of shortcuts the new Bolide then here we've got the Unimog cool combi couple of old castings there we've got the Porsche Panamera the Golf GTI and the Momo livery R32 the green P1 the Mustang from James Bond then lots of interesting old castings you can go through them and see which one is your favorite similarly when we go on top to that section we can so there we've got the twin turbo, Nissan twin turbo, we've got the Bugatti Chiron, we've got the Aston Martin, Aventador J, McLaren Senna, Golf GTI, R33, Porsche 917 LH, then there we've got the Tesla Starman, Tesla Roadster with the Starman, so that's a cool casting. Then we come on here, we've got the Corvette Stingray Barbie 60th Anniversary. Then we've got the Fast and Furious Mercedes AMG GT and couple of cars interesting here like the R32, the Centenario Roadster, the Ford GT in the Gulf livery, the Mustang GT in the Boulder livery and so on and so forth. So that is the top row. Now we come on here. So this one I think 99% of the cars you've already seen. Padminis, I've made a video. London Taxi, London Bus, I think I made a video. This is a, so actually the interesting thing is that these models, they might look small, but these are all licensed models and the manufacturer is MSZ models, MSZ as we call it. So this is the Lancer and this Lancer is 132 scale by them. Then this is the Bentley Continental GT3, it's in 43 scale. This Hummer also 43 scale, this Hummer Maestro 124. Mahindra Thar used to come, used to be sold by Mahindra, so very cool one. Uh, I think it would not been very expensive. So they used to sell it on their official website. Let me know if you have it in any color. This is a cool one, uh, Veli 124. This is the Aston Martin Vanquish. So you can see the classic Vanquish doors and everything, even if the hood opens. So it's a decent uh, model, even the wheels are steerable, so that is quite good. Then over here we can see that this is a Aventador and its doors are openable 43 scale. Then here we've got the Aventador SV, uh, SVJ actually, the SVJ in the classic uh, red color. And here you can see the doors open, the beautiful spoiler of the SVJ. This is also by MSD 43 scale. Then over here we've got a Land Rover Defender and this Defender is awesome. All parts opening like literally all four doors can open. The boot can open and also the hood opens. So for a 32 scale this car has amazing details. You can see the ladder, you can see the roof rack, you can see the pine, you can see the box right here. So overall very good detailing for the price. And uh, just to be clear these are all imports. They were never officially sold in India. I have got a collaboration with the manufacturer. So they sent me these models. Now we come on to the Prado. This is the, this is the LC Prado. And it's a very decent sized car. Maybe 128 or something. Or maybe 132 because it's a big car. Anyway, it also has opening parts. Hood also opens, I believe. Yes, the hood opens. So uh, detailing of the grill and all is quite good. So these are great for photo shoots and that is why you know I was not very unhappy to get these. This is a, a G-Wagon. This is a G-Wagon. This is also by MSZ. 
and as you can see over here all of these have written that made under license so none of these are unlicensed and this is the 350d it also has the opening parts like the doors can open although it has panel gaps not very neat and eventually one of the last ones i think i already showed you this this is the maestro jeep renegade and over here we've got the lexus this is the lexus lx570 the old generation one of the cool cars of its era and very nice black color so that is pretty much it from here guys this is the lancer lancer evolution 10 from msg i already showed you tata nano now tata nano the thing about the tata nano is that this is a 18 scale car so the 18 scale car uh, let's move this side for now ideally it should be fit here but it's a small car so i have put it over there these are the 18 scale cars which i'll come to in a bit so this is a 18 scale bike and this is the suzuki gsxr and this is one 18 scale by msg it's got some very decent detailing for the fact that it is made by a brand which is not so mainstream I've also got a few more 18 scale bikes which I probably will display like this or maybe this is a placeholder I'll reshuffle the whole arrangement and I think I've got the Africa Twin and a couple of other interesting motorcycles we'll get to that for now we can see that uh, this one has got some very decent details and this is the Yamaha R1 the main reason why I got these two is because the newer generation this is the new generation GSXR and the new generation R1 not many brands were making it so that is why even though these are not perfect these are decent uh, you know to just uh, have a part of the collection until something better comes out so now let's just move on to what you all have been waiting for and that is this this is the premium 164 diecast collection and a lot of premiums over here so let's just start with the majorette 5 pack so actually these 5 cars as you can see these are a, a part of the um, porsche 5 pack by majorette but this was never officially sold in india i won an online competition and this was the price so it is technically an imported set the panamera and the police livery the 718 in the beautiful miami blue the top is removable so that top is removable so that is really cool then we've got the 934 really nice color scheme pair of gt3 rs a black and yellow purple very nice color schemes then we've got the zamac cars the zamac cars you can see the nissan z the shelby cobra the aston martin vulcan the hudson hornet the land Rover pickup and the el camino so all of these are in the zamac livery zamac paint scheme which is basically no paint has been put only some decals and stuff now we come on to the real premium stuff this is the a few cars the track cars few of them have arranged them together this is the Acura NSX in Gulf livery, the Ford GT in Gulf livery. This is the Lemo Ford GT, which won the won in 2016, I think, in its class. Then this is the Corvette C7R. Then this is the Ford GT Heritage. And here we've got the Shell cars. In the Shell livery, we've got the BMW E30. We've got the Porsche Taycan. We've got the Nissan GTR Silhouette. This is a Liberty Walk GTR Silhouette works and very nice and cool detailing and also there is one more car there is one more car from the set which is right over here you can see this is also from the shell set this is the land rover defender we'll get to that later now let's just come back to it here we can see some more cool japanese cars this is another same um, liberty walk silhouette works gtr this is lava red color this is the hot pink color this one is by stance hunters this is the r34 gtr New Supra Mark 5 Supra Martini livery. This is the OG Supra TRD 3000 silver color mini GT. HKS Supra, the new Supra Mark 5 pair of Miatas over here. We can see one with the popped up headlamps and the soft top. Another with the popped down headlamps and without the soft top. And eventually we've got the Nissan Z in the new neon color, which is very similar to what the Jimny and all have these days. Here we've got a few supercars. Here we can see the SVJ Coupe, the SVJ Roadster, the Lamborghini Huracan STO, the McLaren Artura, and this is like an odd one out among the Lambos, but it is a sports supercar, so I put it over here and it was really going along with this. This is the Fighter Works uh, Huracan. This is the Fighter Works Huracan, beautiful matte gray paint scheme. The Zonda Barchetta, this one is really nice, like it's got excellent interior detailing and stuff. This is the Bugatti Centio Dici in the black color, very nice detailing. 
especially at the rear. This is the Pagani Zonda F by Mini GT, the Bugatti Super Sport 300 in absolute matte black, 100% black matte finish, very nice paint finish. This is the Zonda Sync and this is by Tarmac Works, not a lot of Tarmac Works over here except this one. This is the Bugatti Devo by Mini GT, a pair of Vision GTs by Mini GT and eventually this is a Bugatti Veyron and Veyron, uh, premium Veyrons are very rare so this one was actually got from Tomica Premium, this is a Tomica Premium. Now here we come on to another shelf, this is the Porsche Taycan. Uh, got a lot of Germans in this shelf, so Taycan, Audi RS6 with the roof box, black color. The new Porsche GT3 shark blue color, this is the BMW E30, this is the AC Schneider tuned one. Then we've got the Liberty Walk M4 in the chameleon color, you can see its color shifting between green and purple. This is the RUF yellow bird. Over here we've got the Audi RS6 digital camouflage. Then we've got the Porsche 911 GT2 RS in the Miami blue, not exactly Miami blue, but the blue color with the black accents, black hood and everything you can see. Then we've got a pair of DTM cars, the Mercedes 190E. I think I've got a lot more of these, but you'll see that in some other video or for now, these two were together, so I've kept them. This is the Porsche 911 Carrera. And here we've got another RWB. This has got the ducktail spoiler. This has got the ducktail spoiler as you can see right over there. So now you come to the top shelf here we can see that this is the Toyota Century by LCD models very nice detailing. This is the McLaren SLR Mercedes McLaren SLR by Mini Champs very rare model. This is the Nissan NFS Heat Silvia S14 Rocket Bunny. Um, so this is a very cool casting it's got the uh, pink and blue livery. Cotton candy and teal kind of looks very nice. This is a Liberty Walk G-Wagon and this is by Para 64. This is a Ignition model Supra. And here we've got the Lancia, the Tarmac Works Lancia 037. That one has some excellent detailing. Then over here we've got a RWB Beetle. This is the RWB Beetle by Inspire Models. Then here we've got a Toyota Hilux, the TRD, the Dakar Rally version. Coca-Cola Land Cruiser over here. And eventually we've got a, a Lexus over here by Time Models in this beautiful gradient paint scheme which is uh, green and yellow. So now we come on to this and over here we can start off with the uh, Range Rover. So this is the Range Rover Autobiography by LCD Models in the black color. Then we've got the almost real Brabus Mercedes G63 AMG. Then we've got another Range Rover Autobiography in the white color. Again by LCD, then we've got a mini GT Lamborghini Urus. This is the Hong Kong special. You can see that they've got the Hong Kong map uh, made over here and it says unlock any road. Then here we've got the Malaysian Army Defender. Here we've got a Defender pickup. Then again we've got a military camouflage Defender. And here we've got Shell Defender, Defender in the Shell livery. Here we've got a couple of Bentleys because the logic I'll explain behind this is that the, since Defenders are British, I put a couple of Britishers next to them. This is the Flying Spur in the Bentley Flying Spur in the Christmas livery. And this is the blue Bentley in the Bomber livery. This has got the ice peaked mountains made on it and, it, and some skis on top. So basically the a car which was used for racing in the icy mountains. Then we've got a trio of Americans, the Lincoln Capri, one of the only vintages that you'll see in this entire showcase. We've got the Liberty Walk Mustang in an Ardo Grey paint finish and over here we've got the Ford Mustang Shelby and he, in the classic blue and white combination. So here I, you can see that this was a rally set. It is basically a car dot premium that was launched. So we've got some cool castings here, the Mini Cooper, then we've got the Subaru and this is a Volkswagen Sirocco. So Lancer Evolution 10, all of these models. Then here uh, there are some fantasy castings, but the card art is special. It's Tom and Jerry. Uh, right now in present day, it is quite rare because uh, Hot Wheels has not made anything related to Tom and Jerry for a long, long time. Over here, this was some modern art uh, muscle cars with a modern art kind of theme Hot Wheels had made. So a Mustang Boss and all of these muscle cars in this theme. This was a very cool set that I picked up card art premium. I think all of these are for 199. Then this is the uh, GT, the Gran Turismo set. 
and this one had some great cars the this one is the bmw m4 mclaren f1 the lancer then the corvette and ford gt and all of these even. so it was a very nice set i think it was 2017 80 and overall it was a good purchase at that time forza i've got the full set i think it's been split between two different places right now here i found this one so i put this on display this one is a hot trucks kind of uh, set it had a lot of trucks in it the card art is absolutely amazing you can just see all the card art and it even had some cool trucks like the ford raptor and the studebaker champion the dodge power wagon the silverado and all of that then over here we come on to the guardians of the galaxy this is the groot car and then this is a peanuts car snoopy basically the peanuts mobile uh, it had a, it was a car art premium then here we got a pair of mickey mouse mickey's garden and the band concert so these are all launched back then this is very nice actually because i'll tell you why this is a 52 a 57 plymouth fury so out of all the card art premiums that have been launched the card art and the car in itself this one is really nice so it stands out amongst other card art premiums then this row as you can see the logo in this these two rows the logo is in the center and it's not attached from here so the difference between the newer and the older hot wheels is that's it you can see in the bottom in the older in the newer hot wheels the logo starts from here but in the older hot wheels it starts from here so these two rows are the older ones highlights of these i will show you this is the porsche the magnus walker porsche the aston martin 177 mclaren p1 pagani huayra roadster then we've got the gas monkey corvette bmw's m4 lamborghini huracan uh, nissan gtr this is actually very nice the nissan gtr aventador j then we've got the super trofeo the lambo super trofeo the 911 gt3 rs the carrera gt very nice bmw m4 different color and in the bottom two rows are most of the newer 2023 castings which you have already seen so nothing much to see there so right now over here you can see that over there we can see first of all avengers avengers card art premiums most of them are almost all of them are fantasy castings so just for the card art those are cool then this is the new uh, 55th anniversary set which is golden and black and red and all of that in the middle you can see unimog which is the chase car then these are few newer matchboxes whose peg hunting video you watched forerunner kayan turbo twizy porsche tesla lexus mitsubishi 300 gt 3000 gt Fortuna, then these are a few Jurassic World cars, few of them are new, few of them are old, like the Humvee, Wagoneer and all of these are Wrangler and all of you are new, then this is the old G-Wagon, the old GLE Coupe, then over there there are a few new main lines, above that we come on to the Batman castings, pair of Batman card art premiums, then there are three ones, there are three from BMW. Then those are the Lambo card art premiums. I have got the full set, but the thing is that few of them have a sticker because these stupid uh, Indian stores, they put a sticker on them. So I did not want to display them with the sticker. Then we got the Laffy Taffy. That is a card art premium, candy card art premium by Matchbox. It's a beautiful pink casting. Then another two castings from the original 50th anniversary black and gold series. I think that is the Impala. So you know like that is where it started, that is where Hot Wheels started making the uh, that is where Hot Wheels started making the black and gold cars and they slowly started building them over the years. And over there we got another very rare casting which is the Matchbox G 6x6 super duper rare. Then here are a couple of castings from the Larry Wood series. So Larry Wood uh, series Hot Wheels had made card art premiums, beautiful castings in that. And next to that you can see the Ghostbusters, then you can see next to that we have got the Camaro 50th anniversary set. So it has got a lot of beautiful Camaros, then there is one Porsche Boxster Spider from the Porsche series. Then a couple of Jurassic World cars and everything, so that is that set. Now here these two rows, these two rows are the modern mainlines, the 2023 mainlines. 
so i think you've watched enough videos of those let's just skip that for now you can just you see which ones do you like pretty much all of them are there then we come on to what everyone has been waiting for you guys wanted to see my premiums i made another video i'll put the link in the description which has my other premiums like my circuit legend set my drag strip demon set and modern classics a lot of those are there but here also i've got a few uh, very cool premiums here i'll start off with this set this is known as street tuners which is basically japanese cars and it's got some great castings you can see nissan silvia rx7 nissan 180sx honda s2000 and subaru pandem brz and i'll be honest i was so impressed by this pandem brz that when the slide street set came out i got this whole set another japanese set which is super cool it's got the silvia s14 this is the s15 this is the s14 this is the new supra the mark 5 supra this is the ae86 the initial d car livery is different but the initial d car and eventually here is a ford mustang rtr and you know it's the rtr uh, version with the neon wheels and everything super cool decals so this is the falcon livery pandem brz and this is like these two are the same car just the decals are different and this one was such a great casting that i knew it was going to look great in the falcon livery so i got that now we come on here here you can see this is the justice league batmobile and the actual a gun kind of thing in that you can turn it around so that is super cool here we got the r33 this is from the original boulevard set when hot wheels first started making boulevards i got a few other boulevard cars but they are somewhere else like the g wagon and stuff i'll see if i can arrange them together later on for now these two i got from the first set the r33 and the volkswagen t1 panel bus so here we got three cars this is from the toyota set so if i show you guys very carefully the toyota set had five cars so three of these you can see here the two which are not here in this are the toyota 2000 gt and the starlet other than that this one is the toyota pickup truck the 87 pickup truck this is the toyota supra the a80 supra and the land cruiser fj60 then here we've got Aston Martin Vulcan Valhalla the Aston Martin Vulcan the Valhalla and McLaren Senna so these two Aston Martins and a McLaren Senna i actually had this whole set the other two cars from this set were the Lamborghini Huracan and the Bugatti Chiron but a friend wanted it and uh, well uh, i just gave it to him at that point now maybe if it was here it would have looked good together that time i did not have a display so i didn't care much this is the lotus esprit this is a basically a entertainment series car because this is from james bond the spy who loved me this is a gumball 3000 subaru impreza wrx then this is the kit car very popular pop culture reference then here we've got another james bond car this is the aston martin db10 uh, hot wheels premium we all saw the main line lots of years back but the premium is super cool then over here this one is the bill steen land rover defender 110 hardtop and you can see over here that this was actually a car dart premium of premium cars you can say with which had all the brand collaborations hks bill steen hooker headers coney and michelin so i got the defender because i liked the defender others were all vans you know they were the dodge van the volkswagen van the gmc van but this was a suv i really liked it and i have a lot of defenders so i got this one then we come on to the deutschland design cars this is from the new set the s4 quattro the 911 gt3 rs then we've got the 1994 amg mercedes c class 1994 amg mercedes c class dtm car super popular 90% of the people got this set for this car and it's like super expensive also in the open market you get it for almost half the price of the whole set then this is the c63 amg coupe black series i really like the wheels the wheels and all are very nice overall decent details then this is the old deutschland design like two years back this one was the m3 e46 now above here another above here we can see that here are some more pop culture cars the deadpool ice cream truck the thunder cats thunder tank if you watch this show you'll know it 
the 68 Corvette Gas Monkey Garage, I've got its mainline, I've got its premium, the Toy Story Pizza Planet Truck, the Aquaman Black Manta Submarine, another one Masters of the Universe Wind Raider, then we've got the Project Cars, Acura NSX GD3, the Lamborghini Huracan Coupe from Doctor Strange, the Ford Super Deluxe from Back to the Future and this actually has this whole goop on it which you can take off so it's quite kind of funny. Then we've got the Ghost Rider Dodge Charger and eventually we've got Bone Shaker which is a Hot Wheels fantasy casting from Rocket League if you know the game. Over here we've got an assortment of some Hot Wheels premiums. These I purchased when Hot Wheels was not coming to India officially so I used to get only which I liked because these were like super expensive. And this is the Lancia 037 uh, set, I think it is from the Thrill Climbers set. So the set was called Thrill Climbers. Then this is from the Boulevard series. This is the 2019 Subaru WRX STI. This one is an entertainment car uh, from the Hot Wheels Entertainment set. The Porsche 911 GT3 RS in the Lizard Green, I believe this color is called. Beautiful color. Then over here, this was a SUV set, I remember, it was called Wild Terrain. This one had some cool ones, uh, Land Rover Defender 110 Hardtop. I already have this, I've made a video on this, you can check it out. Porsche 959, then it had the off-road Camaro, the Unimog and the Ford Bronco. So the Bronco is super cool with the police livery and everything, highway patrol, very nice. Then this one is the Porsche 934.5, it's beautiful, it's got some great details. And this is also from the Thrill Climber set. So these two, they came together. And eventually another cool car from the Boulevard is the Koenigsegg Agera R. Although if you've got tarmac work, Ageras and everything, you're not going to admire this so much. Detailing is average, not very good, not very bad. Now we come on to another row, which is the Fast and Furious row. I want a lot of Fast and Furious ones, but they are split between multiple places. This one is the Subaru Impressa WRX STI. So this one is known as Furious Off-Road. This is the name of the set. It is one of the most coveted sets. This came to India in extremely limited numbers. And I cannot tell you like how expensive it is as of today. The Impreza, the G-Wagon, G-Wagon in this military green color, it's ultra rare and expensive. Defender 110 Hardtop, super cool. Off-Road Camaro, Hummer. So if you look at the cars, you cannot tell which one is better. Like these three are outstanding, the Defender, the G-Wagon and the Hummer. Then the Subaru and the Off-Road Camaro also very cool. Then over here I've got a couple of random ones which I picked up here and there. Jaguar XC Project 8, super cool. Custom Mustang. This one, Fast Imports, this set. Back then it did not come to India, but this was one of my favorite cars from that set. Actually, two were my favorite. Uh, one was this one, the S15 Silvia from Tokyo Drift, the Mona Lisa. Unfortunately, I don't have that until now. Uh, but this one, uh, the 570 Super Legera Gallardo, super cool. I really love the iconic Gallardo. And I've shown you my 18 scale Gallardo, so this goes really well with that. Here we've got a Jeep Gladiator. Then we've got a W Motors Lycan Hyper Sport. So you've seen this do a lot of stunts in the Furious franchises. Then we've got the original fast set. And the cool thing about this set is that if you uh, put them in order, it looks like, you know, the cars are on the road together. So this is the R33, the Jetta, uh, RX7, S14 Silvia and the Eclipse. All of them are amazing. And this is also one set which has become super expensive, at least doubling or tripling in value. Then we've got the Fast and Furious. Uh, this is the quarter mile muscle set. In this, I'm missing one car. I bought the whole set, so it must be lying somewhere. This Pontiac Firebird, I've been unable to find it as of now. So four cars, the Chevelle, the Chevelle. So the Chevelle is in two colors in this actually, the red and the grayish, matte grayish color, the Camaro, the Bust Mustang Boss. And over here we've got a couple of random ones. The These are the card art premiums. These are not premiums. They do not have rubber wheels. These are the card art premiums. Plymouth Roadrunner, Toyota Supra, Aston Martin DV5. So this is from Skyfall. It's a different casting. Now here we continue with Fast and Furious. We can see that this is the S2000. 
सो दीज कार्ड आर प्रीमियम्स दे केम लॉन्ग बैक आई थिंक टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन इट वॉज अ एट कार सेट एंड एट कार सो यू कैन सी टू ऑफ दीज आर हियर द रोड रनर एंड द सुपरा एंड द रेस्ट द एस टू थाउजेंड द जी टी थ्री आर एस द आर थर्टी फोर स्काई लाइन द सुबरू इम्प्रेजा दिस इज द कॉर्वेट देन अगेन द सुपरा एंड हियर वी गॉट द एस्कॉट द फोर्ड एस्कॉट सो दिस वन वॉज दिस वन इज एन ओल्ड वन देन दिस वन केम दिस इयर आई थिंक यू गाइज ऑलरेडी सॉ इट बट लेस जस्ट सी इट अगेन दिस इज द एल कमीनो द जैगवार प्रोजेक्ट एट द मोसिल आगो then this is a challenger the daytona then again a porsche then this one is the buke regal and we've got the tokyo drift uh, lancer super iconic we've got the too fast too furious r34 gtr paul walker's r34 and eventually we've got the mazda another cool thing which you'll observe only when you display it is that all the cars are in series this is from the first fast and furious This is from Too Fast, Too Furious. This is from Tokyo Drift, and this is from Fast Five. So every franchise has a car. The seventh car in this set, if you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the seventh car is from Furious Seven, as you can see right here. The ninth car is from F9, the Fast Saga. So every car is serially arranged according to the franchise. and over here we've got some cars from forza this is the new 2023 forza set the alfa romeo the bugatti the jaguar the bmw the porsche this is a old forza horizon 4 set i think let me just check the year of import 2019 as you can see 2019 is the year of import so this one is from 2019 and it seems new but let's not forget this is 4 years ago So four years ago they made this the Porsche the Veneno Lambo Veneno super cool. Then this one was the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. Then this is the Aston Martin DB5. Then this is a Silvia 180 SX Type X and the BMW E30, which is the BMW M3. The middle row I've not shown you guys much because these are all the newer castings you've already seen all of these in detail. Let's just come down, and you can, you know, I'll just pan the camera around, see if you like something. Maybe you like this uh, Batmobile and uh, uh, Scooby Doo combination, or maybe you like the Aston Martin 177, or the Reventon, or the Momo Datsun wagon, Porsche 918. Then the 91, the Chiron. Chiron was super popular. and pretty much all of these this this is the mg gtr mg gtr in uh, yellow color in blue color pagani huayra another pagani huayra and a couple of art cars over there now here we come on to the team transport i showed you guys that there was a special section for team transport so that is the r34 team transport then this one is the 67 hemi barracuda this is the hot wheels uh, retro series it was launched in the 50th anniversary you used to get a coin along with it there was a coin along that you got with that so that was very nice then here we get the r32 gtr in the advan livery team transport then we get the 1968 cougar very nice overall color scheme then we get the 64 custom ford galaxy 500 and that is in the ford livery then we've got the porsche 962 in the fleet flyer livery and over here we've got a volkswagen beetle so the beetle is in purple color and the reason why beetle is so important and popular is because the beetle was one of the first few castings that hot wheels had ever made so that is what makes it super cool then here we've got a nissan fair lady z with the sakura sprinter so the name of the truck is sakura sprinter in case you are wondering what is sakura sprinter and here we've got the blue uh, camaro the 67 camaro red line wheels obviously you can see and here we've got a custom 67 mustang another again with the coin and this one is super rare this is a 356 speedster and t1 pickup along with it so this one is like super value for money because for the price of a team transport you are getting not one for not one but actually two licensed uh, porsche models like porsche and volkswagen so that one is super because other than that if you see the other uh, team transports then uh, these have got a plastic truck which is not exactly value for money i mean it has the decals but it doesn't have license 
then here we've got the Lancia Rally 037 in the Gulf livery which is super duper cool I really love the Gulf livery and having a Gulf transporter is awesome if you have Gulf cars and last we've got the Jaguar lightweight E-type carry-on so it, the truck has got the Jaguar branding and it's the Jaguar E-type Another interesting thing which I want to show you guys is that this is a mainline and this is a premium but back in the day uh, they used to make them very similar just these used to have rubber wheels and metal chassis other than that you know the uh, dimensions of the card were not as wide as what we saw earlier very similar to each other then over here these are some card variations these are some uh, mini cards like the short cards so these you get in Europe and stuff so these I showed you in a video that I got a few of these so these are those now we come on over here this set is one of the rarest sets of all time this is the euro speed set and this has got some really cool cars first of all it's a 50th anniversary exclusive as far as the cars are concerned alfa romeo gilia sprint gta in this beautiful green color alfa romeo in this beautiful green color it's super pretty then we got the BMW M1 Pro car in the project cars livery which is awesome then we have got the project cars Mercedes Benz 190 and this one is like back then Hot Wheels did not make a lot of these Mercs so this one was super popular then we have got the Porsche 993 GT2 uh, and I really like the finish it's very like Zamac and we have got the Audi R8 LMS another very rare casting I have not seen a lot of these especially in premiums this is another set which was common I would not even say uncommon because this was the first set the first Hot Wheels premium set that officially came to India so this was the first set which had a metal body a metal chassis and had real riders the rubber wheels and was officially sold in India the MRP was only 349 at that time and 10 car set so here we've got the AMC Javelin so we've got the AMC Javelin we've got the Volkswagen T1 drag bus fun thing this part opens upwards I'll make a detailed video later and uh, this one is one of the heaviest Hot Wheels castings of all time it weighs upwards of 100 grams this one is a Ford Econoline pickup the 1960s uh, pickup truck 78 Dodge little red express red truck with this chimney kind of uh, exhaust looks super cool then we've got the custom 69 Volkswagen a square back in the green color so you know this was one of the rarer models somehow this was not in ample quantities put an effort to find this we've got the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser then we've got the 69 Camaro in yellow then here we've got the 65 Ford Galaxy in the Gulf livery it is really beautiful then we've got the Datsun Bluebird 5110 wagon and we all know how much we love these wagons and this had some great wheels and great paint finish here is the 56 Chevy here are some premium Hot Wheels premiums and this is from the DC set so you can see that uh, this is the Batwing this is the Batmobile this is the Bat and this is Mera ship from Aquaman now uh, so guys over here the bottom row is 100% Barbie cars this has been the year of Barbie and not much to see there but above we can see some cool older castings the Reventon Roadster the Ford Mustang GT then we can see the R33 in blue color then we can see the Mercedes AMG GT in the green color then we can see the Kunta space car in red and white so the uh, red one is probably one of the prettiest space cars then we come on to the Aston Martin 177 another very rare casting when we see some more Porsche 993 GT2 AMG GT in solar beam yellow Huracan in the yellow color McLaren P1 in orange Porsche Carrera GT in yellow Bentley Continental Super Sports Tesla Model X BMW M4 Mercedes AMG GT in red Lamborghini Urus in blue Aston Martin 177 Tesla Model X BMW M2 that one is excellent details the M2 then we have got the 934.5 Porsche the Humvee the Audi Quattro 67 Mustang Porsche 911 GT3 RS fun fact this GT3 RS is where I started my Instagram journey this was the first car I ever posted on my Instagram 
then we've got the Porsche 911, the Urban Outlaw version, then we've got the Beetle Submarine, the, the 55 Corvette, the 17 Ford GT, the 16 Cadillac ATS VR. So I've got the Cadillac in red, which is much prettier, but idiots uh, at the shop, they put a sticker on it and the card is ruined. Then we've got the Jeep Wrangler in green, which looks very nice. And finally, we've got the Jaguar Project 8, the 918 Spider, the McLaren P1 and the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon in a beautiful yellow shade. So guys, I know this video has been super long, but finally, eventually we have come to the last part of the tour and this is the eating section. Unfortunately, it's not very full right now, which is good. It will end early, but uh, you've seen my other cars. I'll put the link in the description. I've got a lot of other 18s, which are in a different display. You can go check them out. Even that one does not have enough. So yeah, I'll just try to figure out a way to showcase all of them together. But for now, let's get started with this. This one is a Burago 300 SL with the classic gullwing doors. It's like really pretty. And then we come on here. Here I've arranged the three SUVs. Here I have arranged three SUVs together. The Lamborghini Urus by Burago, one demerit, I'll tell you on the face. This one is supposedly 118. But uh, if you look at it very closely, it's like a little smaller, maybe 119, 120. So be careful when you're buying these because it's a bit of a misleading statement. This is the Range Rover Sport in black. Obviously, all parts are opening. So that part is really cool, you know. Uh, these dog legs are not very elegant. But for the price, they offer some very good detailing. This is the Jeep Wrangler and the Wrangler Willys actually. Uh, black and yellow combination looks awesome. And it's great for photo shoots. And the detailing is also quite spot on. This is the Lamborghini Aventador and the Aventador is the scissor doors. You can see the classic scissor doors, all parts opening. This is, I think, also Maestro Burago. Uh, quite decently detailed headlamp detailing could be better. This is the Mura. This is probably one of the best uh, models ever made, made by Burago. Uh, it has all parts opening, you know, like uh, if I show you guys. So if I show you guys, this is what the Mura looks like, you know, the whole explosion kind of uh, effect can be achieved with this model all parts opening and for a burago uh, the paint quality the details the opening parts all of them are awesome and right now if you keep it like this you can see how great it looks then this one is actually the uh, lamborghini murcielago and it's the convertible one it's the roadster scissor doors and paint quality is very good it's quite heavy also weight is close to 800 grams Weight is close to 800 grams. It's very heavy. The windscreen and the headlamp detailing and everything is quite spot on. So for uh, um, Burago, these two are amazing. The Mura and the Mosilago. Then we come on here. This is a Porsche 356. This, this one also has got a few cool bits. Right now here you can see the seats are folding. Uh, obviously this part is openable and this part is also openable. Uh, here we can see some engine detailing. Here we can see the spare wheel. Seats as I showed you already fold. Uh, small demerit I would say that uh, there is a bit of panel gap. I'm just being honest with you guys because I know what models I have and um, Honestly, 18 scale is not something which I collect a lot. This is just something that I managed to collect over the years in bits and pieces. This is one of the special ones. This is the Solido. This is the Ford GT40 and you can see the doors they open in a very wonderful fashion. And unfortunately, Solido only makes opening doors. So that is there. As far as the rear detailing is concerned, it's very nice. And even the wheels, you can see the wheels, the wheels also look great. So overall, this is one of the better castings. Then we come on here, the Jaguar E-Type. Now the thing about the E-Type is that the doors have a bit of panel gap, but other than that, you know, over here you get a couple of latches. So if I open this latch and I open this latch, then I can open its uh, engine and the engine opens like this. So another very cool thing about this model is that uh, the rear door, it opens sideways. So that is very nice overall over here. You can see that, you know, maybe I can keep it like this and this like this because see both of these, uh, they have got the this one and this one. Both of them have got the clamshell hood looks very nice together. Anyway, now we'll come on to this below uh, below the blue Porsche is another blue Porsche. This is the 911 GT3 RS 4.0. Very nice casting, very well detailed. It's got red interiors. If you can see it's a Maestro, so borderline good detailing. 
and here is the Bentley Continental Super Sports. It's a convertible with a fixed with a fixed soft top. It's it's in black color, and that is pretty much it from uh, this section. Uh, I've got a lot of space. I've got one whole uh, shelf empty. I've got this one also empty. So I am planning to get some more cars, and I've deliberately left some space there because then over here we come on. to another uh, interesting casting which is the goldwing this is 112 scale goldwing this is by new ray and one of my favorite motorcycles of all time this is the old generation goldwing i'm waiting for the new one by lcd or someone or veli also if i manage to get it if you guys have some leads help me out i got a harley i got a couple of interesting harleys in 112 scale so i'll i'll put them beside this so wait for another video that video will follow up right now i'm just showing you whatever i have arranged Now we come on here. This is the Auto Art Jimny, and you know how much I love Jimny. So the 118, 143, 158, 1, 157, 161, 161, and 164. So these are the Jimnys uh, in like put kept together. This these are the Jimnys kept together. This is the Auto Art, the Show Stealer, really beautiful uh, model. The Jimny always looks good in this kinetic yellow color, and Auto Art has done a very good job uh, replicating it. Then we come on here. Here we can see this is the Bugatti Chiron, and it's got uh, it's in this uh, super sport color scheme. Bugatti Chiron with the 16 written over here and black and red color scheme. It looks very nice. I prefer this personally to the uh, black and blue. Uh, let me know what do you guys think. Then over here we've got another Auto Art. This is the Auto Art C class, and all all parts are openable. This is the W204. one of the most beautiful uh, auto arts of all time excellent interior detailing and all of that this is the 458 speciale this is by burago and it's a very nice casting overall uh, i don't have a lot of ferrari so this is one of the rarer ones here is another lamborghini this is the gallardo spider and iconic yellow color then over here just for fun i've kept the liberty walk transporter this is the isuzu transporter This is by Mini GT and Tiny HK collaboration model. You can see headlamp detailing and all of that. It's absolutely amazing. And I've kept on this the John Players Lotus 1977 Formula One car. Over here, I've got the Audi R8 V10 Plus. This is by Maestro. All parts opening. Reddish orange paint color. Overall, it looks quite decent. And eventually, last casting here is the Mercedes McLaren SLR by Maestro. This is the limited edition. If I show you guys the butterfly doors and everything, that is super cool. But the interesting thing is, first of all, these alloys, the big alloys, the pimped out look. And over here, you get some custom sub woofers and stuff, as you can see right over there. Also, big shout out to Ishan Patel, the scale model guy, to whom this model belongs, and he has been of extreme help in making this video, in filming this video. So thanks a lot, Ishan. And That is pretty much it, guys. This is the diecast room tour which you guys were waiting for a long time. Maybe I have not done justice to the whole collection because there is so much stuff. But uh, from now on, what we can do is that we can make it in parts. Whichever ones you like, let me know in the comments, and I will make a more detailed video. Any set from the Hot Wheels Premiums, any particular casting, any 18 scale car. all of that you just need to drop a comment and i will make sure that i film a video on that for now i'll take you leave thank you so much if you made it till the end thank you so much for being so patient and thanks for your support hope to see you soon